Good morning everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel Leaf Classes. I am Anjali. Children, as you know, we have started our revision series for 2023 batch and today we are doing fourth part of this, right? So without wasting time, let me start the first question. Give the shorthand notation for m equals to m minus 20. This is one expression and you have to uh, give this in shorthand notation. Children, for shorthand notation, the questions can come for multiplication, for addition, for subtraction or for division. So, uh, the shorthand notation is possible only when the variable which is there on the left side is present on the right side also, right? So, for this, uh, m equals to m minus 22. That means we are going to update the value of, present value of m minus 20. So, this can be written as m minus equals to 20 and put a semicolon as the last character of the statement. So, this option is present. This is here. Let me tell you for uh, addition also it will be m equals to 20. Then for multiplication also you can write m asterisk equals to 20, m slash equals to 20 and like this it is possible for all the mathematical operators. Right, children? The second question. How many arguments are given to math.random? Math.random is a function which generates a random number between 0 and 1. And it never ever takes any argument. Right? You cannot pass on any argument to this function. Although the formulas are there to generate the number between 10 to 20 or between one starting value to ending value but this function never takes any argument for execution right so option is zero the next question predict the output int m equals to six for int i equals to one i less than equals to three i plus plus print i and print m plus plus children please pause the video check your answer and after that then you continue the video and verify your answer with mine, right? Now, here if you notice, after for two statements are given, but these two statements are not enclosed within the pair of curly braces. So, if that block is not having the curly braces, by default, it is understood that only one statement will be there for that particular block. This you have done for if also, for for also, right? So, here only one statement is there for this for body. So, for int i equals to 1, print i, 1 will be printed. Then i plus plus, it will become 2. Then i plus plus, it will become 3. So, in loop, se kya print hoga? 1, 2, 3. Ye last wale statement per kab aega? After completion of the loop only. So, after that it is written print m plus plus. Or m ki value kya hai? It is 6. And m plus plus, it is post increment. So, first it will print the value, present value of m. After that, the value will be incremented, right? So, the output will be 1, 2, 3, 6. And children, I already told you, please, for predict the output based questions, you have to first dry run it yourself. Get the answer yourself and then check whether that option is present in the given options or not, right? Now, also please pay attention here. Print is written at both the places, not print ln, right? So, the output will be generated in the same line. Next question. Which of these is used for multiple branching? All of us, we know. Switch case is used for multiple branching. And if is bidirectional, switch case is multidirectional, multi-branching. Give the output int m equals to 5, s equals to 0, while plus plus m less than 10. Children, here if you notice, the curly braces are not given for this while block. So, what we will assume only one statement. Put the curly braces yourself for the better calculation, right? Plus plus m. So, here what it is, this is pre-increment operator. First time, it will increase the value before checking the condition. So, 6 less than 10. Condition is true. S equals to S plus M. The value of S will be 0. Initially, it is 0 plus M. M is now 6. And then again, it will come back to Y. It will not print the value because that is outside the body of the loop. Right? Then next time, plus plus 
m m will become 7 is less than 10 still condition is true s equals to s plus m 6 plus 7 the previous value of s was 6 now it will be 6 plus 7 that is 13 next time plus plus n it will be 8 less than 10 that is condition is still true so 13 plus 8 it will be 21 next time it will be 9 less than 10 condition is still true 21 plus 9 it will be 30 next time it will become 10 less than 10 so here the condition will become false it will not enter into this loop and it will come out of the loop where the print statement is given so print statement me kya print karega 30 what is the present value of s it will print 30 i hope it is clear children please please uh, dry run the program yourself right which of the following is a jump statement in java break return continue all of the above children all these are jump statements break statement takes you from one point to another point continue again without execution of the remaining statements take you to the beginning of the loop body right then again return return uh, we have done in user defined functions from one function to another function so all these are jump statements right children predict the output of system dot out dot print ln 11.0 slash 2 children slash sign gives you the question part but when when the integer division is there that means numerator and denominator both are integers but here it is 11.0 so 11.0 it will give you the answer in points so the answer will be 5.5 if you divide 11 by 2 what you get 2 5 is a 10 and remainder is 1 you put point this 5 and 10 so suppose the question is in place of 11.0 if the question is 11 by 2 then the answer will be generated 5 because both are integers integer division gives you the question part but if any of the numerator or denominator is in points the answer will be in fractions that means with points right the next question identify the correct statement to display the length of the following array string st equals to computer applications by leaf classes and all these words are given separately within double quotes now children always keep in mind whenever you have to find the length of the array whether it is int double char string anything then the length is used length function is used but not this one this is used to find the length the size of the string right not of the array for finding the length of the array always l-e-n-g-t-h and here the array name will be there again whenever we are finding we don't put the square brackets over here so option b is the correct answer this is applicable for all the data types please keep that in mind right which package is included by default while using wrapper class all of you know when we are using scanner class then only we are using java.util otherwise we are not using and all of you know this also the default package which is included in your program is java.lang so the correct answer is java.lang the next question name the situation in switch which executes all the cases from matching case till next break statement agar case 3 is correct and after that all the statements will be executed kab tak jab tak break statement nahi milega right so what is that situation called that is called fall through the question can come like this also define fall through situation so fall through situation occurs in absence of break statement or all the statements starting from the matching case are executed till we don't get the break statement fall through means it will fall fall into another statement still we are not getting the break statement to stop that right now we come to question number two what do you understand by precedence of operators the hierarchical order in which the operators are used for operations is known as precedence of operators suppose in one expression one statement many operators are used so konsa operator pehle execute hoga konsa baad mein hoga that is known as precedence of operators children here i have given the precedence of arithmetical operators 
brackets will be solved first. Children, whenever you are writing any calculation in Java program, always small brackets will be used. It's not like maths that first we put small then curly brackets and then square brackets. No. Four brackets also we have to put. We will be using the small brackets. Then exponent. So bracket will be solved first, then exponent. Then multiplication and division, they have the same priority level. Whichever is occurring first will be solved first and addition and subtraction have the same priority. Whichever is occurring first will be solved first. Here the short form I can tell you bed mass, bracket exponent, division multiplication and addition subtraction. Division multiplication same level and addition subtraction same level, right? In maths you do bod mass, here we do bed mass, right? Write the statement to accept a fractional value float type in a variable through scanner class. Scanner s equals to new scanner system dot in. We have to use scanner class object and here the statement for that is float a. The data type is given. If it is mentioned only fractional value then you can take either double or float type but here it is mentioned float in the question so you will be writing the data type float a equals to sc dot next float here whenever you are using scanner class function please keep in mind this f will be in uppercase right the next one distinguish between testing and debug testing is a process to find bugs and errors hum jab test karte hain program ko uh, whether it is giving us the desired result or not that is testing and debugging bug means error debugging means removal of that error so debugging is the process of correcting the bugs found during the testing. जो भी हमको test करते time जो errors मिले, जो bugs मिले, bug means errors, right? So debug is removal of errors. So please prepare this as well. The next one, define finite loop. A loop which iterates for a finite number of iterations is termed as a finite loop. Finite means fixed है, infinite नहीं है, unlimited नहीं है. Like here if I have used for int i equals to 1, i less than equals to 10, i plus plus. This is finite loop. i ki value 1 se start hogi or 10 tak jayegi accordingly the body of the loop will be executed, right? So finite means fixed number of iterations. Next is name three jump statements used in Java. The questions we did in MCQ also. Break, continue and return. These are the three jump statements which are used in Java. Now we move on to the next question that is our program question. Write a program to store 10 numbers including positive and negative numbers. If it is not specified then user can enter positive also negative also. In a single dimensional array obviously only single dimensional array is there in your syllabus. Display all the negative numbers followed by the positive numbers without changing the order of the numbers. Jo number in negative mein jis order mein aata ja raha hai wahi display karna hai then positive number jaise aa raha hai wahi display karna hai. So, here suppose the input is 15, 21, minus 38, minus 43, 54 like this. So negative sabse pehle minus 38 hai, fir minus 43 hai, fir minus 19 and minus 44 hai here. I missed that minus 44, right? So how we will write the program? First obviously we have to declare the array of size 10. I have taken the array name as ARR. You can take any variable name of your choice unless and until it is not mentioned in the question. Then here this loop we have taken for input. Input mein humne kya kiya? For int i equals to 0, i less than array length, right? So uh, why 0? Because 0 is the first subscript of the array. 0 is the first index number of the array. So arr 0 se lekar less than 10. Size is 10. So 0 se lekar in 9 subscripts the array elements will be entered. Now again we will take the loop for displaying of negative numbers. Again, maybe the first index number value contains the negative number or the last index number. We don't know in which order the user has entered, right? So here we have to take the loop from 0 till the last element, right? So if it is less than 0, less than 0 means negative. 0 is the boundary, less than 0 is negative number, right? So if it is less than 0, you print that element and within double quotes we have given comma as per given in the output of the sample output of the question, right? And once we have completed all uh, the negative elements printing, then again what we have to do, we have to use the positive ones. So here, if it is greater than or equals to 0, 
जीरो भी लेंगे अगर जीरो दिया है तो वो कहाँ जाएगा नेगेटिव में नहीं जाएगा सो जीरो ऑल्सो यू हैव टू टेक इफ इट इज ग्रेटर देन इक्वल्स टू जीरो नाउ यू हैव टू प्रिंट दैट वेरिएबल डिस्क्रिप्शन टेबल ऑल्सो हैव रिटन हेयर ए आर आर वन एरे आई एन टी टाइप एरे एंड दिस इज यूज फॉर द एरे एंटर बाय द यूजर एंड आई इज द लुपिंग वेरिएबल वी हैव नॉट यूज एनी अदर वेरिएबल अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस So with this we complete our this part part number 4 and soon you will get part number 5 as well right so if you haven't subscribed the channel till now please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you get the notifications for all the videos and no important topic is missed by you you may join us on our telegram channel also the link is there in the description box keep practicing keep working hard keep practicing for your exams and god bless you children happy learning